Hello everyone, I'm South African Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Führerreich, playing as, of course, the Union of South Africa. So last time, we made sure that a certain party was elected to our House of Assembly, and right now we're trying to resolve the crisis that was a st London stock market crash. Oh boy, that crash. But anyways, we have 13 divisions in total. Uh, actually, we have 16. Three... Three Coast Guard divisions. Italy took out the Kingdom of Serbia, so they're pretty aggressive. Oh, Bulgaria, you've got a little pokey sticking out at Albanian Italy, but you know, whatever, whatever. Italy does have its own faction, the Pact of Rome with Hungary and Bulgaria, which makes sense. They own a little bit part of Turkey. Netomarium's there. And the end of last time, end of last episode, Germany went to war with Poland. Interesting. Who are you? Oh, Radwitz. I have no idea how to say his name. Oh, he's a king. Oh, he's a king. That's cool. He's a king type of guy. But let's see how fast Germany can take out the Poles. As long as no one else gets involved. Actually, ooh, Romania's in, which is fine, whatever. Actually, Germany's allied with, of course, Reichskommissariat, Bohemia, Bowman, as well as Slovakia. Ooh, the Slovak Republic. Slovakia. Slovak Republic. Very nice. And they're fighting Lithuania now as well. Let's see what happens. Uh, this looks like one heck of a war, but actually this is good since Poland is not guaranteed by anybody It's only 1938, which is really good for the Stahl Pact Which means that'll be good for us when we join them. Hopefully if the AI is smart, which it might not be The AI should only focus on France one at a time focus on France first not don't get the UK involved or Italy Just focus on France and if that happens I might be able to ferry my guys into or invade this part of Africa as well now, if, they go, if the Germans, Stahlpak, goes to war with France and the UK, then obviously we have a way to go straight up north through Africa. If they go to war with Italy, or the Pact of Rome, the Continental Entente, that still isn't a great idea for us. So, regardless, we're still trying to make a bigger navy. We've got a total of five wholesome ships, mostly subby boys, but that's okay. And we're definitely going to need more fuel. Right now, we're building up some infrastructure in Natal, and some more uh, factories in the Rhodesia, which is great, great, great. And hopefully, eventually, we can demand Basuto land, as well as Swaziland. So, that would be very, very nice. I want to issue more factories. I love issuing factories, because all this other stuff, it's okay. You know, whatever. And a few comments from yesterday. Uh, the main one from yesterday, the main comment was, you know, after this, you should play as the UK. Well, actually, I already have played as the UK before, in Furex specifically. I remember that playthrough, because I chose Mass Assault Doctrine for that campaign, struggling with the Indian Revolt as well. So I've already played this, and restored the Imperial Federation, which was really fun and really cool. Yeah, that's the only time I've really played as the UK, besides making them communists in vanilla, I think. Perhaps. But we have our crisis resolved. We have 175 political power, and we could do some other stuff here. We could unlimited power. Uh, military crackdown, lockdown Rhodesia, which we definitely want to do before we go to war with the UK, if that comes to a problem. Lessons from the British. Our own strategies. An army for the nation. So seems pretty good. Uh, grand battle fleet. Oh, we got some subby bonus there. We could make screens, light cruisers a little bit faster. More dockyard output and construction speed. That's always good. Coast Guard. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. A lot of coastal forts. It's pretty good. Destroyers, that's okay. Oh, we have Fleet and Bing. Oh, well, whatever. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and see what happens when we leave the IPA. The Imperial Protection Alliance is a flawed and corrupt alliance of subjugated states. To chart our own course, we must first abandon the one it has laid for us. Yes, we are abandoning protections for our own selves. Right now, it's 1938. Would, I, would it be better for me to get a military factory or civilian factory? I'm thinking right now a military factory so we can make sure we have enough guns for the army. I could get more building slots as well, uh, but we're doing okay, we still have a few for now, and Natal is looking real great, really great, and that's why I'm trying to build more infrastructure there, which would be awesome, and now we have another military factory for our guns, we're doing okay on support companies, or support, support equipment, and I can make some light tanks if I wanted to, we really just don't have the industry for that, which is quite unfortunate, but it looks like Germany's doing pretty well, with Slovakia pushing in a little bit into Poland, and just a tiny bit into Lithuania, which is a delightful thing to see. Very delightful. Maybe I should have waited to leave the IPA, but we'll see what happens, just because... Mm, I don't know. We'll see what happens between the Deutsches Reich and the UK. They might join an alliance together, maybe, maybe not. Oh, Serbia's back. And Italy took more of the coast. Not all the coasts. Sierra Nagora. 
Hmm. Now, this is not expected. Italy? What are you doing? What is that? The Kingdom of Serbia. That's a awesome flag. The National Populace. Danube running dry. Whoa. Entente Council member. Political Commissars. Oh! Michael the First von Hohenzollern Sigmaringen. Oh, wait. They're guaranteed... Uh, oh, no. I thought they had a guarantee the French Republic has sent volunteers to Romania. Okay. Oh, they're going to ally the Greeks. The Italians allying Greeks. What timeline is this? This is obviously very weird. And the Balkans ally... Yes, ally. Dismantle Romania, which makes sense. Dismantle Serbia. They already did this, which is really cool. Spark a border conflict with the Greeks, or ally the Greeks, and then pressure the Turks. Well then. The Greeks are going to like that. That's going to be a pretty, fairly strong faction down here, and... Okay. You know what? I'm okay with this. The more bloodshed between these countries, the stronger we could probably become. Man, look at that mustache. Holy cow, that's awesome. So why did they go to war with them? Work in progress... Work in progress, coming soon. Times two. Let's see. Industry for an empire. That looks, a, that looks pretty cool. Reform the Marine Nationale in the shadow of the king. Huh. Let's see. Watch on the Rhine. Rhenish martial law. Investigate. Is that it? That's it. Uh, which way did they go with the French Republic? I know I'm not spending a lot of time to let time go forward just because I want to know what's going on. There's social cons... They're really not too social conservative with all these different colors in there. But whatever. Social conservative, probably this one if they're going to stay this way. Uh, we obviously can't tell which way they went. Unshakable economics. Um, uh, well, regardless, whatever, you know. Oh, a new legacy, that's kind of cool. Have they done that? What national spirits do they have? This is turning into something very interesting. Memories of Verdun. Oh, wow. Minus 30%. Oh, my God. That's... Minus 30% division attack, but they seem to be doing pretty well over here. I mean, I guess that makes sense when Italy probably sent a lot of its army to Greece. Alright, you know. <clears throat> Good luck, guys. And they're trying to beat up Romania, so now they're on a pretty, an, almost an all-front war, except against Ukraine. The Germans have almost taken Warsaw. Ah, and we've left the IPA. Next up, we could leave the Empire. I don't want to piss them off too much. They might not like it that much. What is the relation with the UK currently? Negative. Screw it, we're, going, we're doing it. So, the time has come to announce to the world that we're no longer subject of London. At this moment, South Africa is free and independent union. Absolutely. Industrial Revolution. I could get more stability, but 80% is already pretty decent. If I were to raise... If not raise my stability, what would I else I choose instead? I can't word right now. I guess I have almost no military staff. More attack. I definitely gotta get more attack. Supply consumption is gonna be important, though, too. Um, fighters, yeah, that stuff is okay. You know what? You might as well get more stability for now. Might as well. Alright, so, let's take a quick look. I don't have any artillery. Yeah, I have none. We're good on support equipment. Mm, I don't like the deficit of stuff right there. I really don't. Hopefully they don't go to war with us, but we'll see what happens. Oh. Oh, they're fighting down here too. And there goes Brazilian people state. Oh, wow. Argentina. Oh, that's... Socialists? You have an interesting portrait. And then socialists. God dang. Argentina? I mean, I guess you're socialist buddies, but what are you going to do about that? And then you have the national populace down here. Volkists. Yeah, Volkists under Santos. Republic of Peru fighting Colombia once again, like normal. And China is, well, killing itself. Eh, but what else is new? Ah, excavation 2. Happy 1939, my friends. Happy 1939. Hope you're having a great, great year. I'm going to go ahead and get the Lancaster. Lancaster Mark 1 guns. Just so that we can have the best available at the time. What? Why is France doing so well? How strong is France on this timeline? I don't like this. I don't like this. Can I send volunteers to uh, Italy? I really don't like that. Come on, Germany. You're taking quite a while to beat these guys up. If we can finish off Romania faster, that'd be good. Because I don't want to see Italy become a French puppet. That doesn't bode well for the Germans. That really doesn't. Uh, they're 
Pushing, uh, well, that is a big river against Milan, so I doubt they can really take this area just yet. They are using tanks. Oh, the British sent battalions, or divisions, to France. Alright, so, uh, Pol I'm surprised Poland hasn't fallen yet. Where's their capital? Stanislaw? Oh, Lviv. Lviv. Cool. Um, Jimmy, how weak are you? Uh, uh, that's a big range. Two, four, couple, couple. 14,000. Nice. Well, there's a lot of dead Intermarium soldiers, I guess. Jingoistic Montenegro. Wow, that's cool. Alright, well, how's this war going? The Moroccan Italian War. They've lost 100,000. They've lost 73,000. That's not too bad. I'm surprised that France hasn't lost more, though. I'm a little surprised, because they're attacking quite a bit. But, like I said, it's 1939. Let's get better artillery. We're not even making it yet, so... It's better to do it now, I think, than later. Just so that... <clears throat> when we get a production uh, cap and growth and efficiencies and stuff like that, that'll help out. Good, those guys are gone, which means Italy and our allies can send soldiers to the front against the French. And hopefully, their navies are killing each other. Let's see, what do we have here? Uh, that's a lot of ships. Italy has quite a few ships as well. Uh, no carriers, but do the French have carriers? They have two to three. Mm, I, I, I'm liking this timeline so far. This is going to do really well for us. And Poland is gone. Romania, Lithuania. Deutsches Reich is poised to do... That's disgusting. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Why? Why would you do it like this? Just give them to the Italians or something and just take Transylvania. You know what? I might meddle in this. Look, I... Oh, actually, I don't have state transfer tool mod on. Well, maybe I won't meddle in this. Hmm. Well, it'll be what it'll be, because that's disgusting. Even though this actually does make sense for, like, Romanian borders to be like this, but, oh, God. Come on, AI, what are you doing? Slovakia's looking kind of nice, though. And, are we seeing a puppet here come out? Oh, yeah. Lex Commissariat Litwaun. Hello, Augustinus Voldemaras. Well, that's cool. Berman. Well, you are what you are. Well, that's not too bad then. Faction, the Stahl Pact grows ever larger, and the two main enemies that, or two of the three main enemies that we would have had, are killing each other. Awesome. And we have just left the Empire with that beautiful. Look at that. That's a beautiful flag. Why are you still here, Patrick Duncan? Didn't you get the memo? We want Milan. Last time I voted for Milan. Why is Patrick Duncan the leader of everything now? Um, he has a lot of different ideologies under him. Man, he's... He can speak to all the people at the same time. Man, that's amazing. And we can dismantle Imperial Africa. I kind of want to do a little bit more. Maybe a little bit of this stuff. Because I do want to get that land option. That's pretty important. But some of this stuff sounds like fun. Military crackdown? Unlimited power, my friends. So, with newfound strength and inspiration, the House of Assembly may begin passing the many new laws necessary to create a new nation. It will take time, but London can no longer prevent us from doing what is needed. And we need all... So, to do that next group, we need to do that. That's fine. Oh, we're done building civilian action. No, we're not. Build them up in Natal as well. I might consider ending that. You know what? We can save this for later. I need military factories. So, I want to do that first. Nice. So we have left the group. We are independent, and we will demand these two nations, or two pieces of the territories, down here eventually. So because of this, I'm going to split you in half. There you go. You will be led by someone new named Cus de Vet. Oh, he's pretty good at cavalry and infantry. That's kind of nice. So just in case, against the... Can I not do the Portuguese? No, I guess not. That is interesting. A new nation is born, delegates from across the Union of South Africa, from the hills of Transvaal to the wastelands of Karahari. Gathered today in Pretoria to sign a declaration of complete independence from the UK and the British Empire as a whole. D.F. Milan, the Prime Minister and leader of the Purified National Party, declared that Union was strong, as strong as any European power, and by far the strongest nation on the continent of Africa. For too long, South Africa has been overshadowed by Britain's dominions. But starting today, it shall be we who cast the shadows. We are the masters of our own destiny, and Africa is ours for the taking. Ah, there comes Milan. We get political power. We get more political power every day. More stability, more war support. We get a parliamentary republic instead of a constitutional monarchy. So we lose 
20% political power because that was a constitutional monarchy in which we get way more political power, we get less ideology drift defense, which doesn't matter, and 5% less stability. I can work with that. I can totally work with that. Ah, there's my lawn. There's our boy. And there we are. Hmm. I want to do that, but we can't do that yet. That's okay. Can I get a civilian factory, maybe? Ooh, we can get some more... Oh, we might want to get some more... Yeah, let's, let's get some steel. Local steel mine expansion. Great. And we've got more Coast Guards here, doing awesome. Go ahead and train, you never know what might happen. Uh, Ship-wise, we have the pride of the African fleet. Union... Subbies, all South Africa. <sighs> Nothing strikes fear into our enemies like subbies. Disperse Industry 3, great. Let's see, 1939, let's go grab some more construction speed then. Eh, uh, you know what, I'm gonna reverse these. There you go, I want more military factories now. That's good, we're gonna get some artillery, we've got some okay things there. Next year we're gonna start researching some 1940s subbies. Oh look, encirclements, very nice. Well, the Italians are definitely holding the line here against... Oh, they lost Genoa. Genoa versus the French, which is cool. What is Adam Dressler planning in Nexo? Anti-Entente propaganda, that might be pretty good to do. I think they kept Hitler. So they can't go down Strasser. Alright, whatever. History of armaments, pan-Germanism policy. Uh, build the West Wall. Rhineland. Oh, that's interesting. Demand Elsass Lothringen. I hope they do British strategy so they don't ally. I hope they don't. It's disappointing that the Rhineland went the inter-allied military mandate of the Rhineland. Focus research. A fourth Rome? Cool, I'll let you read this if you want to. What a childish fantasy. Well, we're done. We have unlimited power. Good. Let's see. What else can we do with this decision? Dismantle Imperial Africa. End of European rule. Sponsor. Oh, sponsor all of our old claims. Oh, yeah, this might be nice. Let's dismantle Imperial Africa. So, for far too long, we've had parliaments and monarchs in Europe dictating our every move. Now we may be free, but there are still millions of others like us suffering under restrictive colonial governments and laws. The time has come to create an empire of our own. Chromium? Yeah, we definitely don't need more chromium. Uh. At this point, I really don't mind... Oh, I love the supply consumption. But attack is probably where it's at. Let's grab him. For what we're going to do. Uh, this looks like South, Af South American stuff. Not South African, but South, South American. And Monarch of Spain had that big, just central move. Just blow the hole in the center and cut these guys in half. Uh, America's looking like America. We got another infantry division. That's the wrong group to send it to. Oh, okay, America. Well, you're being a little aggressive. And Union of Brazil got this territory back. Oh, are you guys... Oh, you're killing each other right there. Okay. Quarter Pounders. I love Quarter Pounders. I'm such an American. Let's go to McDonald's. Uh... Yeah, we need more gunnies. Nice. Ooh, support companies. How is that coming along? We have 100. I Like I said before, I do want to throw on some of these. This will, I'm Putting this on right now will be good just so it stops how many divisions we're making so that I can... Increase the amount of guns we have while I'm trying to increase the amount of support companies we have as well Maybe not the smartest idea, but I still want to do it for now Well minus 320 that's actually okay with me because I have to have engineers for fighting in Africa because of river crossings and terrain modifiers Oh engineers are so important you guys go ahead and train You guys go ahead and train as well You're gonna why can't we I want a Portuguese We need more than 74% world tension. It's what? <clears throat> what? Oh, 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 I wish I could see naval battles. I so wish I could. Ooh, anything here? And do we have enough? Oh, we barely have enough steel for us. And that's okay. One? That's so much political power. 1.89. Parliamentary Republic. And Japan is getting involved in Chinese affairs. What else is new? Screen attack, naval speed. I always choose a capital ship attack. I'm probably going to choose naval speed guy here. Probably. Ooh, quite small ships. Oh, more torpedo attacks. That seems really good. Naval research speed would be pretty good as well. I'm just going to go ahead and grab open seas for a little bit more speed for these uh, subby boys. We got 10. Nice. Thank you, destroyer. But we probably don't need you at this point. Save a little bit on fuel. Yeah, Czechoslovakia. Dismantle Imperial Africa. 
we can do the end of European rule. So, there are many others across the continent who would wish to see an end to colonial rule who we might be able to use. From natives in French West Africa to settlers in Tanganyika, we have many opportunities to shatter colonial control. Now, I can't do that yet, because we need to do the end of European rule. The rest of colonial Africa continues to suffer under their European overlords. While carving up Africa may have been a fine idea 60 years ago, it is time for a massive and monumental shift in continental power. While Europe marches to war, we shall seek to seize the opportunity to end once and for all colonial rule from abroad. Yes. Ooh, an empire of our, of our own. So, as South Africa was founded with the goal of becoming a, the bastion of European power in Africa, over time the goal has been largely forgotten. South Africa today is a nation of power and strength, but is no longer under the thumb of Europe. Free to pursue its own desires, the Union of South Africa has one ultimate and inevitable destiny to reshape Africa in its own vision. For too long, European powers have settled or settled colonies in Africa and capitalized upon those settlers without a single care for them. Today, that attitude ends near. Nears. The strongest will will always rule what they take, and it is our destiny to take the lands that they have turned a blind eye to for far too long. Some across the world call us unhinged or delusional, but it is only an attempt to hide their true emotion, fear. Let them believe in their own safety as they bludgeon each other to death in Europe. Literally, between the French and the Italians, our destiny in Africa awaits. A little bit more world tension, whatever. But we got, oh, look at that war support. That's nice. That's nice. Ooh. Oh, and did you just peace out with these guys? Oh, you lost land. And I going to pick a fight with a bigger nation again? Ah, uh, people are special. Who's leading America? Oh, Garner's here. Hmm, that's cool. It is May 17th, 1939. Germany is looking pretty darn thick. We have some infantry guns that can go pew, 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 pew. We're doing land doctrines. We should probably get better of this stuff. More entrenchment sounds nice. And better for attack defense. Get some radar. That could help. Um, fuel refining. Could be pretty good. But, I'm going to go ahead and do one of these. Unrestricted submarine warfare, more sub-attack, surface detection, and rating efficiency. Just so that we're ready, just in case anything might happen. And, oh my goodness, we need more steel. I don't like doing that, but I have to. Good, we're looking pretty okay here. Oh, it's because we have, we made a factory so we can make artillery. Finally, we have some artillery. Do that. I'll probably do that. Nice. Yeah, I mean, Italy, you really don't want to give up Romania, huh? You're really Serbia. Alright, we gotta keep an eye on what these casualties are like, because last time... Oh, wait, the Kiel Canal's... Oh. Oh, they split it up like that. Oh, and there goes National Spain. Hamburg, Kiel, ooh, Denmark, you can't even get any compliance with that, that's not good. Schleswig, that seems pretty German to me. You know what, Denmark, just give it all to Germany. See what happens after that. You know what? I want to click on that, but we have ministers we need to get first. Artillery's looking pretty good. Pretty good. You guys are looking pretty okay-ish. You need engineers, which I totally understand. You guys doing okay as well. Uh, China's having a Chinese time. Looks pretty normal, to be honest. Looks pretty darn normal. Alright, so let's take a look. French-Italian War. Almost half a million versus almost 400,000. I think Germany's like, yes, yes, yes. Adam Dresser's like, this is the perfect timeline. So let's do some sponsored rebels, because we've already read this. Cool. J -j just so much political power. Over two a day. Jesus. I wish this was an old world blues now. I could core so many things if I could. Oh. So good. 16 divisions in total. Not bad, not bad. Armor divisions would be nice, but like I said, we can't really afford that. I like signal companies. I never use them. But since we have them, un do we have them unlocked? We do have them unlocked. I just don't have the industry to do that right now. Hmm. I, I I'm really enjoying seeing this though. Can I maybe send an attaché? Who do you think is weaker here? Uh, we'll probably. S oh, they have volunteers from the UK. So we'll maybe help these. Oh, they volunteers from Deutsche Reich as well as the Soviet Union. Oh come on, man! Why don't you like us? Relations, negotiate license. Oh wait, can I send volunteers? Can I send volunteers? Oh hell yeah! If I can, that'd be great. Give me some XP, XP, XP. Okay then, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, heck yeah. Now we can see what's going on. Now supply doesn't look too good. Oh, are they? Oh, don't tell me they're attacking. That's not a good idea, my friends. 
but interesting. Very interesting. It's bad when South Africa starts getting involved in European affairs like this. Hmm. That's how far... Um, America, no. That's how far Europe has fallen. Look at all these militia divisions. Why do you use so many militias? I guess these are just for, like, you know, guarding coasts, but... Hmm. Militias, they're not worth it. It's one thing if you're playing Darkest Hour in, like, 1944 Germany, and you have literally nothing else you can use except militia divisions. For the most part, but still. Like, come on, man. Alright, let's grab a new general. Since we've got so much political power, Rachel von Rendsburg. Hello, von Rendsburg. <laughs> I don't know if they're getting attacked or they're attacking, just kind of sit there. Just kind of sit there and have a good time. These Italian divisions. Uh, th that's... 17 Oh my goodness. That's not bad. There's probably 20 combat width with support engineers and artillery. Yeah, I'm... Oh, Commissars in Kiev? Oh, what are you doing? What does that mean? So they did Eastern European Outreach. Mission to Minsk. Offer a place in the Stahl Pact. And we can sponsor rebels. And have Construction 3. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. That's gonna take some time. I'm gonna do this just so I'm gonna start buying some fuel as well right now. Iran? Hmm. Who's not part of the UK sphere? Well, I guess America. They could probably use it since they're not that strong. And this is... Oh! There's Rex Commissari at Poland there. We'll double check that. Now we could go on our own for a little bit of temporary bonus. You know, war support stability, political power. We get enough political power. We could join the Stahl Pact. East Africa. South Africa wants to join the Stahl Pact. I want to do all our old claims. This is probably our best decision. So, our greatest chance of finding strong allies comes in joining Germany's Pact of Steel. It would put an end to any relationships we would have with the French government and likely draw condemnation from the Britain, but it would go a long way in having a powerful set of allies. Yeah, I don't care what the French say, I don't care what the Italians say, or the British. If anything, I want the British to go to war with America. That is what we want. Promote Imperial Trade. Well, oh well. Alright, so we got our guys here. Oh, sponsoring rebels! There's no short of a reactionaries and rebels against European rule in Africa. In East Africa, settlers in Tanganyika have long desired an independent state of their own. In West Africa, natives and opportunistic settlers have long stirred anti-French resentment in the hopes of someday mounting a successful series of revolts. Some members of the cabinet have suggested that finding or funding rebels in these areas, as well as others, could give us the upper hand when war inevitably breaks out between us and Europe. Others in the government say we should only sponsor and su sponsor settler rebels, and yet others say we should not sponsor any at all, and that revolutionaries often bite the hand that feeds them. Hmm, manpower guns. British and French. Maybe... Oh yeah, both. Both colonizers. Evil colonizers. Oh, so they're attacking. That's a bad idea. I don't like that. Guys, uh, I mean, you're weakening each other, which is good. Just wait until Germany goes to war with France. Because they're demanding the Rhineland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, let's be ready, boys. Now I can do it against the Portuguese. Um, do that, though. Just in case. I mean, they don't have any divisions there. I just want to get in there as fast as possible. We definitely have enough Coast Guards, though, for the two ports that we have. Yeah, the two ports. That's good. We have about 25 planes. I know it's not very much. It is what it is, you know. And, yeah, Rex Commissariat Poland is here, which is looking not too bad, actually, for Poland. That's actually bigger than I thought would... Germany would give them. Holy cow, that is a mustache and a hat. Wakla. Undeveloped Ruthenia. Rights for ethnic minorities. Sejuan Cheek. Cheek? Kalik is gone. Can I do anything else here? No, not yet. That's fine. Uh, what we're going to grab? Air Force? That would be a waste of time, except 10% more radar construction speed. That's pretty cool. I like that. Small ship manufacturer. Yeah, more torpedo attack is exactly what we want. Getting a little bit more fuel. We got 14 subbies. Go ahead and repair. No worries. Just go and repair. Republic of Turkey, what are they up to? Building destroyers. Well, I don't know if I would agree building destroyers is a good idea, but it is what it is. Hopefully Germany gets the Rhineland for free. I haven't checked the focus tree for Germany in a while, or really know it that well. Because if, even if they get that, Costa Rica's gone. They can demand Elsa Salafan again, which the, the people always deny. Sud Tirol? 
dismantle the Entente, invade Belgium, Switzerland, Austrian ultimate. Austria's gone. I think. I mean, they own Wien. Hmm. Hmm. I might try a small invasion of Madagascar first, though. Just to, just to say we can. Go there and then hop over back to this side. As soon as I join, Germany goes to war with France. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cool. Very cool. Uh, our old claims, we need the UK to be at war with Britain, the Soviet Union, or Germany, which is fine, whatever. So we're going to come back up here. Let's see. We want to get our land auction done as fast as possible, so that might be good to do. We can still oppress people if we want to at any time. Well, the military crackdown... Lockdown Rhodesia would probably be good to do. So military crackdown. There's only one way to handle the continued unrest and open rebellion in Rhodesia and Bishanlin. Send in the tanks! A full military occupation should help them learn their place. Alright, are we part of the Stahl Pact? Come on, Germany, say yes. Say yes. Or I'm going to join you manually. Second Great War, the fate of Europe hangs in the balance. And we have joined. I think, no. Yes. Stahl Pact, no. Why am I... Ah, there we go, yes. Oh, we have joined, my friends. They've given up the British for them. Well, am I at war? I'm not at war. I'm at peace. They haven't called in too many people. And I'm an independent agent. So, let's go ahead and do this. You guys are good. We're going to invade Madagascar. Do they have anything in Madagascar? Resistance, supply, resource. There is literally nothing on this pathetic island. Okay, never mind. Rubber is what we want. So, maybe. Cut you in half. We're going to be sinking convoys around here first. The Cape of Africa. Germany accepts Stahl Pact Petition. The German government has accepted our petition to join the Stahl Pact. Too much celebration amongst members of our government. They are fully supportive of our plans for African liberation and will make an extremely useful ally in distracting the British and French when we ultimately go to war. Absolutely. Now, I wonder if we can get anybody or hit anybody, um, any convoys around here. That would be fun. I don't know if we'll be able to, though. I want to go to war quickly so we can get that... Yeah, I might save up this political power. Fighters. Yeah, I've already got both things for uh, subbies. And Germany's going to be having one heck of a time. They're not doing too bad, though. They're actually crushing some resistance in the Rhineland. Of course, not Alsace, Alsace Lorraine. But that's okay. It's 1939. I, we're doing that. We're doing this as well. We've got a little bit of XP for our shippy boys. 117 days is where it's at. Cool. Can we sink anything around here? I doubt they're really moving through here. But what happened if I moved up here? But, you know what? I'm going to end that episode here just so that we know that the Second Great War has started. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as everyone is trying to beat up the French Republic. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.